Hi, this is Aaron Booker. I'm with Varvid, and we sell JVC cameras as, and a variety of other products around live streaming and events. This JVC camera we're really excited about. It has some really nice features. It has HDMI and SDI out. Uh, it has uh, recording built in, which we love, so a micro SD slot. Um, it also has an Ethernet jack, um, and it is PoE powered, so you can use a PoE switch to power it. Um, which is great. So that gives you really a lot of flexibility for how you're using the video. The other thing we really like about it is that it matches up really nicely with other JVC cameras. As you can see in this video, we're using a JVC HM620, a couple of them, along with this JVC camera to shoot the video and the PTZ camera. So it's kind of interesting. The other thing that's really cool is this controller. So this controller is what gets me most excited about this camera, frankly. We're selling off other PTZ solutions to focus on JVC because of um, the, the control and the capability that this controller gives us. So this is a, is a color touchscreen, um, which is really handy, and then it's got all kinds of capability built into it. So I'm going to show like a little bit of the zoom, and you can zoom quickly, like many, and then of course you can zoom really slowly and come on in. So I'll just come on in and get fairly tight here and show you so you can see some of the menus and stuff. You can see we're recording, which is really nice. So we're recording in the in the camera itself so that when we cut together this video, uh, we can use the recording directly from the camera. You've got all kinds of controls that you can do. Uh, you can control up to 99 cameras with it. Um, and all of this is being done through Ethernet. So you can see the Ethernet back here, or actually I guess I can zoom out slightly. And so here's the Ethernet jack. There's the Ethernet jack, of course, back here. And then the switch over here is what uh, both of these cam the camera and the controller are running it through this switch. So this camera is actually on our network, which is really nice. So to give you an idea, I'm just going to go here into menu control and show you a few things that you can do with this. So if you hit menu, now you can see the menu on the screen. And so you've got all kinds of different things that you can do camera function. You can also do the same things with this handy remote. And so the remote control does the same things. I will tell you, one gotcha, you really have to hold down this green button and keep it held down before it pops up. You can't just casually hit it and assume that your menu will pop up. So when you first get the camera, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to need to set your network settings. And so that is going to be, and then you hit enter right here, and so you want to make sure that it's part of your network, right? So this is your LAN. I have it currently set to manual. You can also set it to DHCP. And so you can see the settings that we're using in our network. Um, the menu controls give you all kinds of other things as well. Um, and so if you're not using this control, you can see uh, what those look like. And so it, the controller will let you do an awful lot of this. Obviously, I can even get into the menus, and that's really handy too. We've, with another uh, vendor that we use for their cameras, you can do some things on the remote and not on here, but you can't see the remote, you can't manage any of the things that you do on the remote from here. So we were actually in a, an event where we were having people climbing up towers and uh, trying to get to the PTZ cameras in the middle of a concert because they needed to change a setting, and it was just a nightmare. And so it's really, really cool to be able to do all of that through one device. We actually used this camera last Friday for a concert for a Black Rebel Motorcycle Club in LA, and it was really nice to be able to get a shot that we couldn't really do with a human uh, because they would have then become part of the action, part of the part of the show, and then also to change your shot. So you, you realize during the event, you know, we would like to get this other shot as well. You make a preset for it, away you go. Um, great quality also and worked really well in low light. And so those are the things that we love about JVC cameras in general. And we really like the way that everything just kind of matches up. So as you're looking at PTZ solutions, if you're already using JVC, I would strongly urge you to consider this camera. It's a little bit more than um, your cheapest solutions that you can find out there, but far more powerful. The other thing that this camera has, like uh, many of the JVC cameras, uh, the HM200, the HM660, cameras like this, uh, the HM890, etc., you can um, put a USB, there's a USB port on the back of this, and then you can actually attach a Wi-Fi antenna to it, and you are able to um, send uh, 
all of the controls that I'm doing here over Ethernet, you could actually do wirelessly. And so in many environments, that is a huge thing. Um, so you don't have to run cables up there. You can also stream from it, so that's kind of interesting. There's all kinds of things that you can do with it. Um, this is just meant to be kind of a little bit of an overview, so I'm not going to get into all the details. Uh, in the questions, uh, or in the comments below, uh, please do tell us the questions that you have and we'll try to answer them. Maybe we'll shoot another video to answer those. Um, final thing I'll mention is they have a really nice integration with Roland. So we uh, also sell Roland switchers and if you're using like the V1 SDI which is a fantastic low-cost switcher then you can get um, Tally by integrating this controller uh, in with the V1 SDI and then any phone can actually act as your Tally so that's really cool so that you can you can see what's going on um, uh, and you get the Tally light of course inside your inside your camera we really like this JVC PTZ camera, and we're excited about getting them into more and more of our productions as well as our client productions. Thanks so much for watching.